every human being is really born with this uh, heart wish of being, of really wanting to be of benefit, to be of benefit to ourselves, to others, to the world. So that's who we are. We're born with this. And then we got so somehow lost along the way with this innate wish of ours uh, into stories of trying to contrive what this instinctive benefit really is naturally available to us. So I can just see so much in my own experience that what this training really has done for me is that I I really have started to love myself just as I am. And in that seeing that this never left me, this ability to really love myself as I am. So it's really so simple because it, it means that we are, are allowing ourselves and also others in that to just be who we are. We start to discover our uniqueness by letting go of all the striving to be like someone else. Because that started very early, comparing to others, wanting to be different, wanting to be similar to, a, to some certain set of people that you saw had qualities that you really wanted. So it's, it's just so clear that the empowerment we receive in this training is so fundamental because it all starts with our self. And that's where we see also that the love of self have never been dependent on anything. Not a body, not certain relationships, nothing. <laughs> So really, it all comes down to training up the way you live your life in complete freedom and naturalness with who you are. So we, we actually don't need to think about how uh, speaking up beneficially, uh, how to act, how to be because all of that is natural to us. So it's all about just relaxing again and again, in short moments, just relaxing your mind, your body, all your ideas. Just see them for the ideas they are. Air. Air in air. <laughs> Moving around. While we are having fun, being powerful, being free to speak up to what is of most benefit. But that's just natural, because we're born with this. And it's really great to ask these questions where we want to clarify these ideas we have, to see that there are just ideas, fleeting data, coming and going. Ideas we learn about what is a good human life, who am I, my identity, my personality, my this, that and the other, my gifts, strengths and talents. All of this is really natural to us. And the more we just fall deeper and deeper into that self-love of our self, into that open intelligence that isn't limited anywhere, we really see that we don't need to use our gifts, strengths and talents in a way to get something back. We just want to share it with the world. Because it's just so fun to live life that way. So the whole motivation for using your time and energy and, and your resources has completely been blown open into pure benefit, basically. Th that's the only thing you want to do with your life. Because we all have the empowerment here through the mainstays to really face ourselves naked and directly in the social anxiety in all afflictions, in all corners of our life. 
in our excitement, in our enthusiasm, in all corners. Everything is seen clearly. And that force of, I'm so fed up of this war against myself, of hating myself, that's such a powerful place to be. It's such a powerful place to be. Because in that, the clear seeing is obvious. That we never wanted this war against ourselves, so now we stop it. In each short moment, we stop it. And we relax and we let ourselves just be who we are. So that instruction of letting everything be as it is, is fundamental. But just not thinking about it, but you know, actually doing that in the middle of, of the stirring, in the middle of your life. That's when you see, when you let it be as it is, it is lying drawn in water. Where is the perception you just had now? Now it's a new one. The other one is gone. A new possibility to be open and available, clear, what's going on, how can I be of benefit? But not like thinking about how can I be of benefit, just a spontaneous living. That's what I have come to see in my own life, that the less I'm thinking about what I say and do, what I want to do, who I want to be, all the ideas about Nina is like this, Nina is like that, the less I think about that, the more power I have to just be. <laughs> so that's the core of this training, you know. It's so simple and so radical. <laughs> so simple and so radical. So we need to train up the mind to see that simple choice we have and to see it and do it, <laughs> right? So we train up the mind to see that in each moment we have that one simple choice to let everything be as it is and trust that fully and completely or going into all the habits and descriptions about it. So what I mean with trusting it completely is that to leave it as it is doesn't mean you don't say a word anymore or you don't do anything anymore. You just trust your spontaneous, instinctive, natural being to flourish. So you can use your energy just to live and not to think about how to live. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. <laughs> It's so nice, you know, I, I, I now I understand what it's all about. <laughs> but I couldn't understand it if I didn't test the short moments, if I didn't write to my trainer, if I didn't show up to training after training after training. To actually see that, yes, we learn to tap into who we truly are, the same way that we learn to believe in all the descriptions of our data, or our thoughts and emotions. We learned it through reading, talking about it, listening. You know, that these, these are fundamental ways of learning. So we are using the same modalities in the Balanced View training as well. We read together, we talk together, we listen, we share. But then we discover that the only thing we need to do is to show up to that and do that, and we don't need to think about remembering anything. Because we need to rephrase or remember exactly what we read. That test in schools, and you had to, you know, just write that same sentence. We learn to trust our own instinctive knowledge which is far beyond the little mental capacity we have. Because that's one, one we use when we, we read something in a book and we go for a test and we write the same thing that was in the book. <laughs> <laughs> so limited. It's so, it's just, even though that's included, and that's who we are as well, using all of our mental capacity. But we are so much more than that. And that's what I learned in school. I remember in biology, I, I learned that, you know, okay, we have this brain and we have this capacity, but we are actually only using a little bit of it. And the rest we just accepted, we didn't know how to use. <laughs> we just accepted it, it was in the book, we just accepted it. 
I don't know. I did. I, I have a master in biology. <laughs> so now I see, you know, that, uh, uh -huh. finally, it's about time that we now have an education in the nature of mind that really shows us how to tap into all of our resources and be optimal human beings. To live the best version of yourself in every moment. That's what I feel. And I've been training up and I'm going to train up this forever. It's endless. It doesn't stop. This potential is just en endless. We have only seen a little bit of it. I have only seen a little bit of it in my life. In every moment I'm presenting a better and a better version of myself in what I say, in what I do, in what I think. It just comes naturally. Better and better. Wow, and the only thing I had to do was to use the Four Mainstays, to use this education, being practical about it, prioritize it, show up, make a plan maybe how to use it. And with that plan for yourself, maybe a weekly plan, you, you are contributing to world peace.